I was currently just between colleges, getting close to finishing a second course in business when I saw it. I heard about it when I first started college back in 2001, but really it wasn't until 2006 that the world got to see it. It was, it was mind-boggling, it was game-changing, and it was built off a Lotus platform. We could clearly see that this wasn't a Lotus Elise. But the vehicle that started it all, the vehicle that revolutionized electricity into cars, was from a brand new company whose second product would create its own brand identity for its models. It would create its own worldwide phenomenon hashtag. And with the introduction of the Model Y for 2021, Tesla has done it. Tesla has done what Motor Trend and Car Driver did way back in the days. When the Audi TT graced our covers and they said, check out our TTs. I have that magazine. And it's one of those ones you got to feel, how did this get by the sensors? But then again, how does Tesla create a word out of four products? Yes, with the arrival of the Tesla Mo Model Y, Tesla has finally completed the name for the company. The hashtag that will become synonymous with Tesla forever. Hashtag S3XY, or as we all know it, hashtag sexy. Yes, we're talking about how Tesla has used their naming convention to make themselves appear sexy. But really, are they? AutoWorks.net Autopod, streaming day or night, coming right at you, right here, right now. Welcome back to AutoLooks. I am your host, as always, the doctor to the automotive industry, Mr. Everett J. himself. And this week, we're going to be taking a look at hashtag sexy. Yes, is Tesla really worth that hashtag? Can their products live up to hashtag sexy? They may not always, but in turn, their naming convention has made them that way. So from all of us at AutoLux, keep checking out, follow, like, or share on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And then, while you're over, check out Podbean for all of our podcasts iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, and because of Podbeam, you may find our podcasts available on YouTube. And if you're looking for product information from around the world for every known car company in existence, check over on our corporate website link at www.autolux.net for all your up-to-date news for podcasts, brand new car ratings, and our links page to every known car company in existence today. Now, last year, we all got to see it. We all got to be a part of the great wonder of how the Model 3 was going to make more money for Tesla as the Model X helped the Model S make more money for the product line. Yes, the Model X is a Model S and the Model Y is a Model 3. But you see, Tesla managed to sneak one past all the sensors because they went with the naming convention that dates all the way back to the pioneer of the American automobile industry, Mr. Henry Ford himself. And everybody knows he had two names. And the Model T was the first product that majorly worked on a global scale. But how did he get there? He had run through every name in the alphabet until he got there. He went from Model A all the way to Model T. That is why there's never been a Model U because they finally got it right with the Model T. But again, there was a Model A, Model A pickups. So when Tesla decided to start naming their products, they did it in a naming convention similar to what Henry Ford did. He was changing the auto industry. He was flipping it over onto a new, where we originally started the internal combustion engine and electric vehicles only being vehicles that we gave our wives to go into town just so they wouldn't get dirty, just so they wouldn't have the issues of starting it up and destroying their dress and making them look unpresentable. But when Rockefeller and all of the petroleum industry saw that the electric industry could be competition for them, they eventually brought it down where it wouldn't resurface in full production form until the GM EV1. Now this thing wasn't really that sexy, but it was one of the first production vehicles to be solely on electric. The unfortunate thing for that is that we're all on a leasing system. We're at the end of the product life cycle. General Motors toes to take back all of the EV1s and destroy them. They didn't want anyone getting their hands on these things. They didn't want anybody to have the EV1, but why? Again, the petroleum industry brought it back to its knees. And we do know in the 60s, 70s, and into the 80s electric cars were there in the 70s they were starting to make strides into it but really it wasn't until the late 90s now mr elon musk the man behind paypal payment systems online found out about a little project 
and a bunch of engineers were putting together. He had the grand idea of backing this amazing project. Soon enough, he would take it over through a difference of opinion and the fact that he started owning more of this product than anyone else. He took it over. And with the help of Lotus, he helped build the Model S from his original production of the Tesla Roadster. That little Roadster may have cost a lot of money, but it made a lot of headaches for the big guys. Oh, truly, was it sexy? Because in its naming conventions, you would have to go Roadster sexy. But since the Roadster never lived on and the Model S is still here, it is part of the hashtag sexy. Now with that, he built the Model S. And the Model S exploded onto the world where luxury people, mainly in California, were buying these things in droves. Quickly, he knew he needed to make more money off his product line. He created the Model X, which at that time nobody saw what he was doing. It wasn't until the Model 3 arrived, but it really did take a while before people realized that the 3 between the X and S, because it was a a product that could fit between it essentially below it which still doesn't make sense it would be an esx what is this an infinity no it's a tesla and it's not an e it's a three so it's a three sx people didn't start catching wave of this until he created the model y then they said oh now we see it sedan sedan utility utility so big sedan little sedan big utility little utility we get s3 x y we get sexy pretty funny pretty funny from a man who's pushing the electric industry out to the world. We all thought he was naming vehicles in the same naming convention as Henry Ford, but in turn, he was just spelling out what he thought of his own products. He thinks they're sexy. But remember, after the Model Y, you have the Semi, and you have the new Roadster. And now, you have the Cybertruck. So really, is it a sexy Cybertruck, a sexy Semi, or a new sexy Roadster? Well, the Roadster fits it. The new Roadster fits the hashtag. It could be a sexy Roadster. We gotta hand it to that. But the Semi and the Cybertruck, no. No, they are not there. The Cybertruck is odd. The Cybertruck is weird. It is out of this world in the sense that its design dates back to the 1960s. In the wedge design pioneered in production form by Lamborghini and Lancia. Yes, the wedge made famous by the Lamborghini Countach is now going to become a Cybertruck. So does that make the Cybertruck a sexy new iteration of a truck form of the Lamborghini Countach? No, not really. The Cybertruck, in my eyes, actually looks like how I used to draw the Lamborghini Countach. I used to do a flat, an angular front that drops off to a flat back, almost like a truck, and then I put a little T on it for a spoiler. Very similar to what the Cybertruck is doing. Pretty interesting. But then again, is it a sexy Cybertruck? In Elon Musk's eyes, it is. It's big, it's burly, it's powerful, and you can't damage the damn thing. And we are so glad that he's choosing stainless steel. It's going to actually help out our hometown, who makes one of the largest supplies of stainless steel or nickel in the world. Pretty cool. We can kind of get behind it on that, but we can't get behind it on a hashtag sexy Cybertruck. I'm sorry. The Semi, again, is not another one of those ones. Is this sexy Semi? semi it's sleek it's very aerodynamic and it's set up for one user with full wraparound windshield now if we're going based off of usability the tesla semi is the sexy semi because it's very usable very user friendly and is amazing because you can see everything around you which would what you would want with a transport but to most people it's still not that sexy the roadster is the only thing that holds up to it but then again is it's all sexy out of all those products the Model X and the Model S are still the only sexy full around models that we find blatantly worth of the hashtag. The Model 3 brings the Model S down and it creates a weird gelatinous blob. And the Model Y just pushes it way over the end. You gotta think about it, this thing's competing in the same category. ALVs, active lifestyle vehicles, as the Ford Mustang Mach-E, which better suits the hashtag sexy. Yes, hashtag sexy. Is Tesla sexy? In the world it really is, because it brought the electric industry to the forefront. And for how much he pushes it, it becomes sexier because of the fact that he has pushed it as far as he can. He has created the Powerwall system to allow you to charge your cars at home. He has created the solar roof system from Tesla to make a fully functional home from the sunlight of your roof shingles. This will be a pain, major pain on insurance claims, but it allows you to charge his products at home, which makes them sexier, which makes them better for the environment. They are super, super sexy for the environment around them. So is Tesla 
though really worth each hashtag? It is. Yes, they have products that don't seem super sexy. They don't meet the Autolux A plus awards of excellence for design. No, the Model Y and Model 3 were never near it. The Model Y doesn't even hit it in any sense. The Cybertruck gets a rusty and the semi drops to the bottom of all transport lists when it comes to sexy design. But why do we say Tesla is worth the hashtag sexy? It's not just because they coined the phrase S3XY into reading the word sexy. No, it's not because of that. It's because of what they did. You may not think of Ford as sexy, but what Ford did to the world for everyone around the world was hashtag sexy. It was. It gave us all the ability to be mobile, to not use horse and carriage, to not walk, to not bicycle. It gave us the opportunity to get out in an automobile everywhere in the world. And that is what Tesla stands by. That's what their hashtag means. It's a play on their model words, but it also means the company behind it. Tesla is sexy. They're one of the most powerful brands in the world. And like Ferrari, they don't build as many as their competition. And yet they are more powerful. Brand and awareness and brand image. How many people around the world know who Tesla is? It's an electric product. Everybody sees it. Everybody knows it. And a lot of people want it. It's pioneering change. It's changing the way we see ourselves being mobile. And it's bringing back an ancient technology to help us move into a cleaner, brighter future. But then again, is everybody Everything super clean about it? How much goes into the raw materials? Does that make it sexy? From a standpoint of how much extras go into it, is it really sexy? Because some of the high grade ores that go into your battery require more power and more pollution behind them than parts for your internal combustion engine. That's where Tesla loses its sex appeal. But when you think about the fact that this thing will cost you less in parts and labor over its lifetime than a regular ICE engine, then it starts to get sexy again. Because you're throwing away less parts. You doing less damage to the environment. And in the end, its batteries be can be recommissioned as power wall sources for your home. Micro power sources here, there, and everywhere. Nissan is doing this with Leaf batteries. Toyota is doing this with Prius batteries. They're being changed into second generation battery sources. When they've hit the point and completely degraded past rejuvenation, then their product will not be hashtag sexy at all. But when you consider, you can put well more than half a million miles through some of its products, through proper usage and repairs and recharging, it can make for a whole lot more sexy. The sex appeal of Tesla moves up. The Model Y does rate at the bottom end of active lifestyle vehicle category. It's not all that sexy, trust us. Bulgy eyes, oversized rump, and way too bulbous appeal. Bring it down to the bottom of the pack. No hard edges, no real attitude. Hell, like we've discussed before, where's the grill? It has no personality. It's a vehicle without a soul. But that's the only thing it doesn't have. When you consider the fact that the technology behind it is far superior than the competition, which means it'll outlast, outperform, and outwit the competition, that can be sexy. So all in all, Tesla can't be worthy of his hashtag S3XY. Because in the end, Tesla as a brand and a whole is sexy. And it is worth the sex appeal that goes along with it. And we are glad that Tesla Tesla is here and helping push the envelope into the future beyond. So from all of us at Autolux, taking it back to the hashtag S3XY, is it sexy with the Model Y or is it just sex with the Model 3? What, however you say it and however you print it on Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn, along with all of our other feeds, it is still great to see it. Tesla is a company that is well worth its own hashtag and own branding hashtag from around the world. This is something that will be a part of the company for a long time. It's very similar to catchphrases, Wendy's. Where's the beat? Nike, just do it. And now Tesla with hashtag sexy. So from autologs.net, we'd like to thank you for listening. Now please help us share, like, or even follow us through our Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or many of our other social feeds or pages. And keep following us on our Podbeam and iTunes, Spotify, Google Play sites, over on YouTube, and on our main site. Our home for well over a decade, www.autolux.net, where you'll find every one of our podcasts and all of the requested information and pictures that follow our podcasts onto the world. Like to say, we are glad that Tesla's here and Tesla is hashtag sexy. So strap yourself in for one fun wild ride from hashtag sexy.